Hello students, I am Dr. Tonmay Vishash, I welcome you all in my channel Tonmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ and the question is in front of you. What is the major product of this reaction? It is a very interesting MCQ, that's why I request everyone please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box. And if possible, please write few explanation or points regard behind your selection. I believe you have tried, so let's start. What is the major product of this reaction? By the way, from this it looks like something addition reaction, addition of HCl across what? Alkene. Now, if you look at this HCl, HCl is actually a co polar covalent molecule. Because of the electronegativity difference between this hydrogen and chlorine, this hydrogen got delta H plus, chlorine get delta minus. Why? Because chlorine pulls little more electron density from this covalent bond and get this delta minus character. So actually it can ionize in water and it can produce H plus and Cl minus. That is the reason aqueous solution of a hydrogen chloride is called as hydrochloric acid. So I am, when I am saying hydrochloric acid, since I am talking about the H plus, means aqueous solution, whatever you observe in laboratory bottle. But if there is not water but some base is there, HCl is there, so that time also HCl can act as acid. I am talking about bronze state acid like ammonia, HCl, ammonium chloride, this salt formation. So that thing possible. So how that time this delta plus reacts with other molecule. Okay. By nature HCl is actually a gas. Hydrogen chloride is a covalent molecule, it is a gas. Now when such kind of question is appeared in front of you, you need to understand they are talking about H plus reaction. Because how a addition reaction can take place with hydrogen halide with the unsubstituted alkene. Look at this is the unsubstituted alkene and here addition reaction can take place via Markov-Nikov's fashion or it follows Markov-Nikov's rule. Okay and Markov-Nikov's rule mechanism start with H plus. So reaction with H plus will start. Now why this double bond reacts with H plus because the pi electron density is little lumpy or weakly attracted by the two new carbon nucleus which form the pi bond. So consequently this weakly bound or lumpy electron density can react with electron deficient molecule like electrophile or H plus. Okay. Now this H plus will react with this double bond and it will produce a cationic intermediate. So you can see this mechanism. Now you may ask one question that why H plus added here, why not another? So here the produced carbocation is a tertiary carbocation but if H plus addition take place at this position the produced carbocation will be primary and remember the carbocation stability order is tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary, greater than methyl. Uh, actually very often student get confused between methyl cation versus primary cation. Remember both are different. For example, I can say CH2, CH3. This is your primary carbocation. Okay. So this is your carbocation stability order. Tertiary greater than secondary, greater than primary, greater than methyl. Now here what I got tertiary carbocation. So, relatively more stable. Now, will the reaction stop at here? Answer is no. Why? Because carbocation stability we have, but there is an another part possible, ring strain relief. How? So, these carbon can migrate with its bond pair. Now, why? I shall explain. Now, when there is a migration, I suggest write everything as it is and do numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, it is a 6 member ring formation. So, okay, whatever this side as by the way there is a CH2. So, it will be considered as CH3. No, 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 it is it's a wrong. This side is wrong. So, it is a CH3. Fine. Now, so this is 1. This is 2. This is 3. By the way, 2 was attached with a methyl group. 3, 4, 5, 6. Now you can send 6 and 1, there is a bond formation. Now I will say, sir, it's a time waste. Why don't you write the final one? 
I agree. Remember, majority of time I observe student made mistake. Means carbon number uh, doesn't maintain relative position of the group changes. So the that is the problem. So in order to address that problem, this is a very helpful technique. So what happened? See the bond pair gone from this carbon number two. So carbon number two will carry the positive charge. So I'm writing this as it is. That is six member ring. Now put the number one, two, three, four, five, six, and put the substitution accordingly. So one position two methyl. Position number two one methyl carbocation. This is very easy. and very less headache you need to take in your mind in this way if you do now you may ask one question there sir why this carbon even this methyl group can migrate yes it can migrate what will be the product product will be the five member ring will remain as it is so this is and here here there will be the positive charge now it is also at a sherry carbocation i agree but the five member ring ring strain exists the ring strain relief obtain in this ring expansion why if you look at five member ring the bond angle is nearly 107 degree about but if you look at six member ring bond angle is exactly the sp3 hybridization bond angle that is 109.5 degree so it the ring strain is minimum now you may say sir from this hexagon it looks like 120 degree how are you saying look at how i am drawing the exact conformation of cyclohexane so two parallel these lines now one here one here this way again two parallel connect this connect this okay this now put two parallel lines here here so actually this is the carbon now right now i guess you will be agree with me that sir okay right now the bond angle is closer to 109.5 degree actually here the ring strain is minimum because the bond angle close to the ideal bond angle for sp3 hybridization so from here to here ring strain release is obtained that is the reason this migration agree now this will not take place this will and ultimately there is a positive charge by the way when hcl this h plus addition take place what was remain there chloride minus because h plus got initially attached here so which one is remaining obviously chloride minus remaining as a counter anion because everywhere i am talking about carbocation carbocation so who is balancing the charge this chloride minus and this chloride minus will be attached there so what will be the product c is a six member ring two methyl one methyl cl so this is the product now if you go to what is the major product of this reaction here by the way if you look at initially this two option gone so this is the product option c now if you get this question in your exam hall how can you solve this question less than 30 second frankly speaking student very difficult such kind of questions are little time consuming question as they are mechanism based questions so what is the solution first more study and again more more and more practice whatever mechanism i have drawn here if you can think it in your mind then i will say okay your preparation is appreciable okay so first you need to understand okay alkene hcl addition reaction carbocation will be here second point there will be a migration okay so if migration take place then positive charge will be here so one side methyl one side the six member ring now if you understand this migration part ring expansion so easily you can remove this two option gone so now you need to think okay what will be my option if you can do it little faster then that will be i guess better for you so from that point i guess you write little bit and come to this answer but here i will not say okay very easily you can do it i suggest do more practice train your mind in such a way that you can reduce the time so that is the only suggestion from my side so this is the overall discussion i believe this video may be useful for you if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow and regarding any doubt about the logo of my channel please read this part your doubt will be clear so see you in my next video bye bye